Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So for the last several hours, currently 2 a.m. right now, I've been reading the new book by Howard Kazanjian. It's called Howard Kazanjian, A Producer's Life. And I've got the thing right in front of me on my uh, on my iPad. And it's actually a really interesting read. If you don't know who Howard Kazanjian is, he produced Return of the Jedi. He also produced many other movies going forwards, including one that I haven't seen, which he talks about in this biography, autobiography called The Rookie with Clint Eastwood and Charlie Sheen, which actually seemed pretty interesting. I want to watch that. However, there's something that I came across here where um, Kazanjian says regarding episode one and how Hollywood really dumped on George. And I guess this is, you know, one reason in particular that George also doesn't like Hollywood. I mean, he didn't really like them before this. And there's tons of different interviews where he is actually talking about how he doesn't really follow Hollywood's methods or really care much about what they think. That's one thing I always respected about him is that he went on and he filmed his own movies and paid for them himself, doing what he wanted to do, and no one could really tell him otherwise. So I'm going to read an excerpt from this. Uh, you can check out the book. It just came out on the 15th. So it came out five days ago, officially now. Uh, he says, George said to me after episode one, I didn't even get a nomination for costumes or sets. And if you look at that picture, whether you like costumes or not, it was a costume picture. And it was a huge set picture. Hollywood had dumped on George. And it's really true. Uh, episode one had a beautiful array of costumes. Everyone's costumes were extremely unique, extremely fashionable, and very, very out there. You know, I mean, just look at Queen Amidala's costumes in episode one. I mean, it, You'd never seen anything like it. I find it unfortunate that they never really gave George the recognition that he deserved. They didn't even give him a, a, a nomination. Um, I can really see the importance of running your own movie the way you want and not having some Hollywood company meddle with it as being a really important and stress-free thing. So if you can do that, then go ahead and do that because who the hell wants some board executives to tell you what to do with your own story? So that's just something I wanted to highlight. I'm not gonna make a super long video out of it, but it is pretty interesting. It's not something I ever really knew. And there's actually a lot of stuff in here from George's ex-wife who went on to do a lot for the original trilogy, if you didn't know this. I, I happen to know that before I actually was reading this, and she has a lot to say in this book as well. And she actually stayed quite silent for many years, many decades, because she didn't want to come across as the ex-wife of George Lucas, who was sour grapes kind of thing. It was just sort of, you know, why aren't I in the spotlight or, or something like that? It's pretty commendable. Now, I'm almost at a part where she will start talking about the sequels, and I'm excited to read that in full and then give my thoughts on that as well. Um, and again, that's not to discredit the sequels or anything like that, but rather just to comment on what she has to say in full. I haven't read it in full yet. But I also will say that after she watched episode one, she went in her car and she sat and she cried because it was so bad that she didn't like it. And I'll get more on that later. But this was to highlight the fact that George actually felt dumped on for, you know, not even being nominated for costumes. And it's true. It's kind of whack. You know, why wouldn't they even give him that recognition, you know, to at least be nominated, you know, let alone win, which I, th I believe he should have because episode one had some amazing costumes. All of Star Wars movies, especially the prequels, had amazing costumes. If you've ever seen the deleted scenes in Revenge of the Sith, oh my god, where Padme is talking to Palpatine, they're pretty funny. Anyways, I'm going to go read more of this, and I will be back to give you guys more of an update and um, find some, some cool little snippets and stuff. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always.